The Furbies of the dog world can be incredibly affectionate and have wonderful personalities, but there's a reason why we call them Shih Tzus. The reason I would never own one has nothing to do with the dogs themselves and everything to do with their chronic health conditions. This is Champagne, and she is a rescue from a hoarding situation. She has behavioral issues when it comes to grooming, and the owner warned me that no groomer has been able to complete her haircut. Good girl, don't bite. Okay. So you are going to bite, Darby. Okay. Champagne normally gets groomed under anesthesia at a vet clinic, but the vet has warned the owner that doing this constantly can be dangerous to her health. So I am going to do everything that I can to get her haircut completed as safely as possible. No. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. See, you're fine. Shih Tzus can have many health issues, but two things I see constantly are severe skin issues due to allergies and scratched corneas resulting in the loss of one or both eyes. They are prone to eye issues due to a combination of protruding eyeballs and short snouts. Their short snouts leave their eyes vulnerable and not properly protected. I can't tell you how many of my Shih Tzu clients are now pirates. Champagne was remarkably good for having her paws done, but she certainly wished death upon that shampoo nozzle. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. I forgot to mention that she is in fact sedated right now. You're fine. I just gotta get those really ugly things out of your eyes. Good girl. No biting, okay? This one's nice. No, no. Oh, good girl. Be nice. Be nice. I'll bite you too. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. See? Her owner told me she believes she's inbred. And I mean, you don't say. Due to the fact that she would likely freak out over the high velocity dryer, I decided to put her in a crate with a dryer facing her instead. She was calm the entire time and got completely dry. I found her behavior to be very unpredictable. She will be completely calm and then snap without warning. Since champagne is on sedatives, I made the mistake of not trimming her face when she came in. The sedatives are starting to wear off and it's becoming more difficult to groom her. Good girl, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, you don't need to freak out. In order for me to trim any of the hair around her face or in her eyes, I have no choice but to muzzle her. I had the cameraman hold her while I attempted to trim her eyes. This was the most important part of her groom because her eyes are very gunky. No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna try again. Me? Let me try again. Let me just calming pets. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right, sweetie. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Game, lady. Good girl. Get these boogers out. Feel a lot better. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I would have really liked to have gotten your face done. Good girl, honey. That would have been nice. Can but we at least... maybe try now? No, no, she's gonna bite the scissors. Champagne? We don't want her to get her tongue cut on scissors. That wouldn't be... That wouldn't be ideal. But her eyes are done and that's really the most important part. I sprayed her down in berry champagne cologne. And she is finished to the best of my ability. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the chomping champagne. Who's that? Who's that good old lady? Oh, come on. Oh.